Okay, so I got the chain guard done. Here's what the upper one turned out like. I just took a piece of uh, some pre-pen tube that I had and uh, cut it in half. And then I made these mounts here, both sides for the bearing. And yeah, chain just rides up in there. That should keep all the grease from spraying around. And then for the bottom, did the exact same thing. This is the, uh, the lower transmission mount and I just grafted this thing onto there. So yeah, that'll sit down at the bottom. So I'm just gonna powder coat these guys, throw them on and that's another job off the list. Well, just finished making another panel. This one is for the, uh, to cover the seat area down in here. This one was a bit tricky. I had to uh, put a bend on it here. I don't have a bender, so just made do with what I had. A lot of holes to cut out. Okay, up until now, I've just been driving around with all these uh, electronics just kind of zip tied to the back here. So I have the, uh, the main computer for the engine. You have the uh, regulator rectifier and uh, a few other little wires here. These are the remaining wires for the brake lights and turn signals that I need to get wired in. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a hole through the firewall somewhere around here, and then I'll mount the electronics right onto this firewall. And then my plan is to just put like a little kind of cover over there just so you don't see it. Yeah. So yeah, I'll get started on this and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I think it'll look something like this. I'll get the computer over here and I'll just put a strap around this thing to uh, hold it on. And then the regulator, I'll just uh, drill some holes there and get that thing attached straight to the firewall. And then for the starter solenoid, that'll uh, get attached down there using these uh, rubber mounts. I'll figure something out for that. And then I'll put a nice cover over there. I'm not sure if I'll do plastic or aluminum at this point. Now we'll see what I have. Anyway, yeah, so I'll start getting this stuff secured on there. Okay, the cover turned out not too bad. Just use some of the plastic that I've been using for the body panels. Um, the only thing I really couldn't do is I, with the, the bender that I have, I couldn't quite get this down all the way. So I'll probably put some heat to it now that it's mounted and get that pushed and put little angles on here to secure it or something like that. Yeah, that turned out good. So what I'm gonna do next, uh, I'm gonna take the wires right here these are the wires for the brake lights and the brake switch and everything and I'm going to start running those into the brake lights. Okay, I think I got these wires figured out for the brake lights at least. Uh, I have my light bulb hooked up for the razor. And as soon as I turn the power on, I got the running light coming on. And then if I just put a jumper here on the, uh, the brake switch, just get that on. You can see the brake light will come on as well. There we go. Okay, so I'll uh, run the wires to the two bulbs. The blinkers, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet, but they're, uh, they're all marked. So I'm going to get that hooked up first, and I'll figure out what I'll do for the blinkers.
Okay, some brake lights are all finished up, and I'll show you what it looks like here. Just uh, turn the key on, Ange. Okay, so there's the running lights. I hit the brakes. Look at that. All right. Well, there's another job done. Okay, next up, I need to make an adapter for this gas cap. What I need to do is extend this up out to the side here so I can get at it. So once I get the seat in here, there's no way I'm ever going to get at that. So what I'm going to do, get this off here. Bought this piece of aluminum and I'm going to cut an internal thread on this that screws over top this cap right here. Now that's a, uh, a five thread per inch. That was a pretty big thread, but my lathe can cut it. So I'll make an adapter there that has a hose connector. And then on the other end, I'll basically do the reverse. I'll cut a th a, an external thread. So I'll have the thing sitting on there somewhere. Okay, head over the lathe and we'll start uh, cutting this guy. Okay, so here's what it looks like installed so far. I have the tube attached that is clamped onto the top of this adapter here, and that big adapter is threaded onto the tank. And I threw uh, a whole bunch of pipe sealant in there just to uh, help it seal a little bit better so the gas don't leak out. But it's all snug on there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll make the adapter for this side here so I can take the gas cap, screw it on there. Okay.
guys, I just finished turning this part here, and uh, this thing turned out pretty nice. So I have the thread on this end, so I can screw the gas cap on. And then on the other end, place to attach my hose. And then I left a nice backing here, so I can put some screws into that to mount it. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to mount it on this thing yet, and I'll show you why. If I, if I put it straight on the edge here, right, there's no way I'm going to be able to tip the gas can in the things just gonna all the gas is just gonna leak right out It'd be nice if I had this on a 45 somewhere so I'm not sure if I'm gonna cut maybe a section out of here kind of fold it back in or I was thinking maybe maybe back here but that's awfully kind of awkward to get at and then the hose you know the rocks could fly up and hit that hose I was thinking maybe right here I'm not entirely sure where that bench seat's going to mount in. So I'm not sure. I, I'm going to think about this for a little bit and figure out where I can get this thing mounted on there. But anyway, turned out real nice.